I mean, I'm not. I mean, I think we're insured, probably. So many lovely kitties in Dubrovnik. Hello, kitty. You're right. We're Alan and Saj, and we live full time in our converted van Apollo. We're road tripping our way through Europe, discovering what van life on the continent has to offer. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another vlog. If you are watching last week, you'll know we're in Croatia. We're trying out wild camping. It's not really allowed, but it's off season, so we've been getting away with it. Mission for today, Dubrovnik. Home of uh, Game of Thrones, where they did a lot of the filming there. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful, lovely walled city you can walk around. So it's about two hours, 45 minutes to get from where we are now, which is Makasaka, down to Dubrovnik. It's a bit strange though, if you look at the map, there's a strip about that wide um, that's actually Bosnia so you have to go out of Croatia across Bosnia to then go back into Croatia which is just a bit weird to get your head around I don't think there'll be any issues but yeah it's a bit strange so we're gonna have to see about that one right let's head off sure if this is the border with Bosnia or a toll road. Only one way to find out. Yeah, right. yeah it is. <laughs> Last thoughts are already then. Yeah, let's have a look on the map. It is the border to Bosnia. Nice. Right, passports. Well that was easy made it through they just wanted to see our passports and then he was like um, do you have a green card i was like yeah hold on i was like rifling through this giant document spot and he was like it's okay <laughs> on you go <laughs> he wanted to know um, where we were going as well didn't he yeah that was it because i suppose there's like a, an agreement isn't there that everyone can pass through this little stretch of motorway i suppose I think if you want to get into Bosnia, do you need papers and stuff? Do you need a visa? I don't know. I don't know, because I suppose in theory, could you not get into Bosnia from here now? Yeah, Just you make could, a left yeah. at one point? I think when I looked it up, there was some kind of strange agreement that was never actually ratified. So like they've agreed that it's fine, but they've never actually made it formal. Oh, wow. So it's just one of those weird quirks of the world, I think. Yeah. I mean, it looks exactly the same as Croatia. <laughs> Yeah, the number plates are different though. I wonder if it's like everything's different, different currency. I should think so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because this, is, this isn't the EU. No. This is, is it the not? first time we've ever taken Apollo outside of the EU. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I think we're insured, probably. We're insured, we're insured third party. Yeah. So just don't mack her up, yeah? <laughs> just don't crash. Don't crash, please. Well, if you are going to, wait till we get to the other border. Yeah. We're quite excited to be in Bosnia. It's another country to add to our list. And I was reading in the guidebook that it's really important not to go off the paths in Bosnia because of all the landmines. They still haven't been cleared from the war. So that's a bit scary. So we don't have long now until we'll get to the next border, I assume, for the back to Croatia. Well, 
that's the shortest time we've ever spent in a country, ever. He didn't even bother looking at my passport on the way through and didn't even put it through a little machine. So, we're good. Up the incredibly steep mountain road we go. People have parked in the pulling over places. So, that's not great. He must leave, yeah. Okay, go forward a bit. Hectic. Well done, Mr. Carr. He's waited very sensibly on the side, look there. You good. Okay, so part of the night is staying here. Yeah, for sure. So, stick her in here then. Because that looks like a very steep road. <laughs> Well, there's Apollo. She's all settled in, which is amazing. We can stay the night. That's just really good for a part of the night. And check out this for the view. So nice. down into Dubrovnik now. We saw some steps that lead down. It looks like it's a pretty steep way down and I've still got a bit of a cold so I'm a bit bleh but it'll be fine. I can always get the cable car or like worst case scenario an Uber back up if I have to. I'm trying to spot some Game of Thrones stuff. That's the plan for today. Right my darling, are you good to go? I'm good to go. bit of an interesting journey up if you haven't seen our video from Italy check us out when our brakes failed yeah. so we've been really trying to avoid going up quite steep inclines for quite a while now but we had to to get up here so yeah we're gonna see what it's like on the way down just hope that Apollo's brakes sort of work they just don't feel perfect but then it's, it's a van not a car isn't it a heavy van so you know Okay then, here's the old city sign. Let's follow this path and see what happens. Fantastic old path. Made it down to the start of the walls, just going into the main part of Robert now. Of a Venetian town. Also, lemon pie ice cream is incredible. <laughs> There's tons of Game of Thrones shops everywhere. Just saw a tour guide there talking about Game of Thrones, so a lot of the Lannister stuff is filmed down there. We just saw the flipbook with it on. The trouble is, it's been quite a long time away now. I've watched Game of Thrones. I still can't think about it. Oh yeah, Alan didn't like the end. Did anyone? Nice little marketplace. 
some traditional sweets. I would try one, but I get worried about germs. Like not cinnamony. Oh no. <laughs> You're trying to get a drink out now? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh well, at least you didn't waste your money. I know, I felt really bad not buying one after she spent all that time talking. But... It tastes gross, it tastes gross. Yeah, it tastes gross. What is it with traditional sweets? They're always really horrible. Good, good effort though, mate, good effort. Thank God for Ben and Jerry. <laughs> right. So many lovely kitties in Dubrovnik. Hello, kitty. You're right. You don't care. He's chill. Old to be a cat. Quite nice to wander around the old bit of the town at the top. People's laundry out and lots of nice bits to wander through. Well, we had a brilliant time in Dubrovnik. It was fantastic. Highly recommend it if anyone's coming to Croatia. We've left the park for night now and we're off to Mali Ston, which apparently is another walled city where they filmed the Game of Thrones, so that should be good. It's definitely getting easier to park in Croatia. Now we're slightly out of season. When we first um, arrived, it was one of the hardest places to try and find someone to put the van. Some really stressful moments, but it's kind of all right now. We're just gonna wander in and um, have a look around the city and yeah, just chill out really. Just a relaxed day today. Getting the last of the sun, which is kind of glorious, especially as we know that in the UK, it's meant to be snow, according to the papers, so yeah. Maybe snow? Yeah, a little bit of snow. Whoa. Well, that's, that's the tabloid, so. Alright. It's probably like 20 degrees, but... Yeah. This kind of explains it nicely. So we're in Ston here, and then the walls go all the way over the hill. There's loads of elevation there. And then there's Mount Ston, which is the bit on the water. Really interesting place. Do you think it's a really interesting place? Yeah, it's really cool. So we can go on the walking path, not on the wall. Yeah. We'll do that. Do you want to do the marathon next year? Oh yeah, look, there's a, there's a marathon just on the walls. Sounds hideous. How many loops is that? It looks really steep up there. That's a no from me. My leg's tired. Oh, here you are. So it's 70 kuna to walk the walls. What's, um, how much is 70 kuna? No, about eight pounds. <laughs> Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's really well known for its uh, oyster. Oysters and fresh seafood. You can see all the lines in the, in the ocean. Not, not for you though, oyster. No, I read a study and nearly all oysters, the fact, every single oyster they tested with the study had norovirus in it, so not for me. It's 
It's a Marley stone, with a little bit on the harbour. It's very small. It's worth a potter about. It's probably quite a nice place to have a, a bite to eat. Something like that. There's quite a few hotels and restaurants and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a little stroll and then we'll go back to Ston. 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 Yeah. We need some bread. We need all the kind of van life chores doing today. We've got so much washing you wouldn't believe. No, like I can barely lift the bag up now, which is a problem. And then uh, the toilet is on day six, I think, mm -hmm. which is not great news. And uh, we've got no water, so <laughs> we are living the dream. And we've got a bag of rubbish as well. Oh yeah, there's a massive bag of rubbish as well. So need to reset everything really. Yeah, all needs sorting. We'll get on it. Hello. Nice place for a little stroll round. Got some shopping, so we're all good. We're gonna go match the van and have some luck. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoy our videos, feel free to give us a like and a subscribe. And you can always buy us a coffee. There's a link below to help us out and that'll be fab. If not, all good. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>